AUSADV rider. In this video, I'll be replacing the rear brakes on my V-Strom 650 S3 Performance has sent me a brand new disc and pads to test out and review. So I believe this is the original disc on my bike and it has become very worn. And I think my pads might have had it too. Righto, let's have a look, see what's in the box. So we have new pads. Now that says CBR900, but I'm sure they're the same pads for the V-Strom. They look the same anyway, look like the same shape. Now they do recommend if you're changing the disc that you change the pads as well. It's a fair chance if your disc's worn out, your pads are going to be worn out. Certainly looks good. Let's see how thick that is. So we're about five millimeters thick. It's minimum thickness four millimeters. So to replace the disc it's just a matter of removing these four bolts take the old disc off put the new one on put the bolts back in with loctite and we're good to go let's get into it well they look and fit great just need to test them out now to bed the new brakes in, what I'm going to do is 40k an hour and a light brake, do that 10 times and then do 40k an hour and a slightly harder brake, do that 10 times, then repeat the process for 60k an hour and 80k an hour. These discs are made out of stainless 420 with added carbon, um, so I think they're going to be quite hard and take a fair bit of bedding in. Um, I think the idea of that is the stainless is going to be long lasting and look great and uh, the added carbons to make them a bit softer and pliable so you get more grip. That's my take on it as a fitter and machinist anyway. Yeah, definitely getting more grip now. So I'll put up a page from the STOP website so you can read through it. They make uh, discs to suit over 5,000 different bikes from 1980 till now. They do a lot of oversized discs that come with the, uh, the caliper mounting brackets too. Which I think are a great addition to a dual sport, especially if you turn your dual sport into an adventure bike and put bigger tank and racks and add a lot of weight to it. It's a good idea to upgrade your brakes. And the easiest way to do that is with an oversized disc. Today I've done a great mix of riding at Mount Robertson, King Lake, through some tight twisties and then off-road and I'm really happy with how that rear brake's performing. The more I use it, the more it beds in, it's feeling better and better all the time. So thanks a lot to S3 Performance for giving me the opportunity to test these brakes. I'm really happy with them and I can highly recommend them. So I'm downhill, loose gravel, I'm going to just stop with just the rear brake. I've got the clutch in. Now yeah, I've got good feel for that. I've got no ABS, so... Oop. To complete stop. Yeah. Let's see if we can get our hands up. Whoa! 
just some rear brake <laughs> oh <laughs> getting in some ruts there we go i can control my speed just with the rear brake i got pretty good feel for that 